vlog. Make contact. They would see you all day. <clears throat> all right, I've been a little mole working away, but uh, what's about to happen is sick videography. Going to be sweet. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. So it's just a normal day in the life. It's the first day of the decade, but it's a nice working day. I need to go tanning because I'm white as the white white. <laughs> white as the white white. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm, I'm pretty white too. We need to get some sun. We need to go to Arizona. Or Mexico. We will in two months. Finn's yeah. dark. His color's looking good. He, he doesn't year. need a tan. But I'm going to go tanning and then. Um... I'm going to hop on the call and. <laughs> I felt like I was kissing a fish. <laughs> you were. If call, I'll be back in 30 and you'll probably be back in 32. Yeah, I probably will be. Okay. Okay. Is, you... are, is this the day that you like me again? <laughs> what? Can you kill him? You don't want to be the bad guy? No. So, I just drove to the tanning salon and apparently they're closed today. Didn't even look at their hours, so that's on my own fault. But anyway, um, I'm listening to this podcast right now called Often Ambitious. I've only ever listened to like part of a podcast by them before. My friend Lindsay told me about them, but this specific episode is so good i'm only like five minutes into it but i already love it but they're talking about having hard conversations the title of it is assertive versus aggressive because i feel like i used to be a very confrontational person and um mm, not like in a drama way i mean I, my intentions were at least never to be dramatic i just wanted relationships to get better and people to get better and me to get better so like I wanted to help my friends if I noticed something that maybe they didn't notice so that they could work on it and vice versa but the backlash ended up being people thinking I was a busy because they're like how could you say something like that to me and I'm like that's what friends do they're honest with each other they call each other out on their BS and they help each other get better so then I learned not saying it's a good thing, but I feel like I learned then to not be so honest with people because they were always offended or thought I was mean and like genuinely that was never my intention, you know? So like then I started to become friends with some people that were more emotionally based versus like I'm not that way. And so it was really hard for me to understand that my words might be hurtful. And so like one of my best friends now, Bianca, is like more emotional than I am. And sometimes I say things She's like, that's kind of rude, Taylor. Like, I can't believe you said this or that, 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 whatever. And I'm like, is that mean? She's like, yeah, kind of. And I'm like, oh, okay. So how should I have said it, you know? And so then I try to get better at how I should word things so that they come across the way that my heart is intending. I actually had two weird scenarios the past few days of people getting very upset with me and I, honestly do not understand because like with all the sincerity in my heart I am never trying to upset anyone like I'm just trying to be clear and like it doesn't make me uncomfortable to be open and honest but I feel like it always ends not well so anyway this is kind of a tangent but I just think it's an important conversation because um one of the things they said in this podcast was like you can't always take responsibility for how someone reacts to what you say like it doesn't always reflect who you are however at the same time maybe they're reacting that way because you're not portraying clearly what you're really trying to say you know what I mean like if my intentions are good and the person is getting hurt by what I said then maybe I'm not saying it the right way so anyway I'm only eight minutes into the podcast and I'm excited to listen to this so these girls don't even know I'm listening to this podcast but this is like I feel like this is like the perfect thing for me to listen to right now because it's something I've always needed to work on um, and I know some people are not confrontational at all and that has its own battles because if you don't ever bring up issues then nothing will ever get better you know and bringing up hard conversations makes every relationship deeper and just makes people better. Not that I'm better than them or they're better than me, but it makes the relationship better. Like your communication is stronger and that is unconditional love. To be able to go through 
hard conversations with people and still come out of it stronger. So that was a long tangent. I just, I'm gonna keep listening. We're about to have dinner really quick, but before we do, I wanna show my vision board. Yes. Right, Finny? Yes, okay. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. So it's a little cluttery in this area, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. It was too big to put on the top. So that's the vision board. <clears throat> Half of them are just fillers. They're not really like things I even wanted on here, but I didn't like the cardboard showing, so I put in some things. But the main one's up there. The laughing one is to have good times and laughing with my husband. Mm -hmm. And goal getter, you know, typical. The tree was a filler, but you know, just to get outside more. That's just to be more of a badass. This one is to just once I get up to where I'm trying to go or during the road there, help people also along the way. This is to help other people be loving towards others. This is a trip I am working to earn with my company. This is for more time management. I'm pretty good at doing a lot in a certain period of time. But I want to do more like time blocking type things, kitty, because once I reach my goal, I get a cat. I guess so. Are you excited for a little kitty sissy or brother? He wants one. Um, and then to play with. I need to drink more water, don't we all? And then this is for us to, you know, we got some goals with the house and stuff to be continued. Um, and then. Uh, we want to find a home church to like get plugged into whether we go back to where we came from or find a new one we're still figuring that out um i want to go on more hikes i used to go on more hikes like a few years ago and i kind of got out of the habit because i started working a lot and we just don't get outside enough you know mm -mm, we don't so i want to get outside more and then this is to pray more um video stuff more youtube things slash get better at youtube this year just like quality of things um, make more time for friends slash family, spend time with people that we love, uh, you know, gym things. Um, what is that? Oh, feet in the sand. That was just cute. I don't know. Uh, this is a trip to Hawaii that we can earn with our company, so I'm working to earn that as well. Um, healthier food, eat more whole foods, less crap and processed junk because I just feel gross. Um, this is house goals, again, to be continued, we'll see. Um, this is to share ideas with other people, learn from other people. Um, that was a filler picture, but I just think horses are pretty, so. And massages to remember to relax. And, uh, that's that. What do you think? It's a good vision board. What's your vision board? Don't have one. Is it just to love your wife and dog and stuff? Yeah. Cool. So now the fam bam is gonna have some dinner. I have one more call tonight, just a quick one, like probably 10 minutes. Um, but we're gonna eat dinner and just relax the rest of the night and then get back to work tomorrow. You know? 2020 off to a strong, solid start. Yes, I'm just starving. It was just another Wednesday in the books, honestly. So, do you wanna do a shout out? Cause you have your phone on you. Okay. Instagram <clears throat> shout outs. Go follow Garrett underscore Terrell on Instagram and Tay Terrell on Instagram to be your next shout out. I need more deodorant. Let's thank. Shout out for today is Darwin Winfrey. Thank you for the follow, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Duh. See ya. <laughs> Duh.